from the outside looking in, is the work kind of out on Kentucky that this is kind of a place to play? I mean, we're coming in with one of the better recruiting classes in history. Oh, yeah. I, I believe it is. It's like I said before, this program is not nowhere close to going downhill. It's going up and up. And, um, you know, I expect the same thing in these next years. Thank you. Thank you, man. No problem. How do you, uh, when you come into a, a, a new situation, is Dealing with you know the fact that you might you might have to sit out this year and, and all that. How do you process that and reconcile that with as far as staying at Auburn and trying to you know, maybe grind it out another year there? Just how do you go get to the point where you make that decision? Say it again. When you have to decide between you maybe have to sit out a year and work mm -hmm. on yourself and, and do mm -hmm. all that, or sticking at Auburn and, and maybe okay. grinding out trying to compete again for the starting job there through the spring. Okay. Um, how do you kind of negotiate those two options? Um. You know, there was there was no there was no hesitating about Auburn because I knew what I knew I knew what was going to be the deal. So there really was no hesitating about what I was going to do there. It was about where I was going to go. Um, but even if I have to sit out a year, it still gives me a whole year just again just get better, work on my work on really getting to know my teammates. You know, really being a leader, being more vocal, learning the offense, really have a full grasp of it. And you know, so. Did you feel like you have a good case for a waiver? Do you, do you know much about what that's going to look like? Um, I'm, I'm, applying, I'm applying for one, so we'll, we'll go from there. A lot of Kentucky fans, they, they see highlights, they see you running all over the field, but what's something they don't know about you? Uh, <laughs> um, I like video games. Really? Really, yeah. I what, like, I like game Madden, tools? 2K, okay. Call okay. of Duty. So, have you taken other people to town so far in the locker room? No comment. <laughs> no comment. Joey, what are your expectations for spring? I mean, there's a bunch of quarterbacks here, but two of them are still working their way back from injuries, so it seems like there are lots of reps available in spring. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, let's take a full advantage of, uh, of spring. Just really get to – really, this spring for me is really getting a master of the offense, really understand the ins and out. You know, as you can stand, just understand everything, everything about it, and you know, just dive deep into it. Because I have a, I have a whole spring under my belt once after this, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You approach it any differently with the uncertainty about whether you can play in the ball or not? No, no. It would be, it would be my same goal, just keep it in there, keep my head low, and just grind, understand the playbook, and just go from there. You, you said you've thrown with some of the receivers. What are your impressions in general of those guys? I mean, we didn't obviously get to see them do very much last year with the offense. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They're um, they're really good. I can't wait to um, you know, I can't wait to build that rhythm and timing with them. You know, once we go from there, it's gonna be good. When you initially decided to take a look at Kentucky, what was the, the first thing that drew you to the program? Uh, SEC. It was the SEC school. And um, like I said, they didn't offer me out of high school. I don't think they did. So I didn't really know their coaching staff. But you know, I really, um, I'm really, really glad I ended up here, though. I'm really happy. Was there a, a guy you made that first contact with on the staff that really made a, an impression on you? Coach Henshaw, Coach Grant, Coach Stoops, you know, all of them came off really, like, really real, laid back, and they told me, they told me, like, what the deal was, like, what's up. What does it say to you as a quarterback when you see, I mean, they've changed their offense a lot based on who they have at that position. What does it say about the coaching staff that they can adapt and run offense like they did with Terry and mm -hmm. run what they did with Lynn at the end of the year, too? And that, that's really good. I mean, like, that's how you know they're really good coaches, if they can take a – Mix up schemes and help them win games. Do whatever they have to do to win games. Because that that wasn't all the quarterback back there. It was a receiver, and you know you see the games he did. Lynn's a great athlete. Um, you know, Grins are Lynn's a great football player. So you know it takes it takes you know it takes a lot of smarts to do that. You, if you do get to play this fall, what does that game at Auburn mean to you? Have you already got that one circled yet, or have you thought about it very much? <laughs> 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 it, it does seem like sometimes with, with waivers, a lot of it has to do with whether your former school supports it. Have you gotten a vibe for whether they're going to help you with that at all or what process? Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll go from, we'll go from that though. Now, is it, what's goal number one just this spring for you that I want to check this box by the time uh, the spring game ends in April? Full understanding of the offense. That's definitely that's my biggest box. Just full understanding the offense. Just have a good grasp of it going into the fall count. Is, is it more difficult to kind of show what you can do when a lot of your, your best skills are being able to, to break tackles? No. 
No, it's not. Because I really feel like I'm just as that of a thrower, too. So I really feel if you put me on the field and we go throw routes, someone's going to see. So appreciate it. I got you. Who's, who's your roommate up here? I don't got one. No, no one? Yeah. I live off you, campus. Have you gotten a, a connection with anybody on the team, somebody that you, you've started hanging out with on, on thought? Or? Um. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. There's a lot of them boys in the locker room. I'm, I like, I like. They're cool. I'm still trying to put names and faces with a lot of them, <laughs> and uh, so I'm really just trying to get to really know each and every one. Of them. I, I would imagine uh, forming that kind of chemistry with receivers would be mm -hmm. kind of a top priority. Getting oh, yeah, ready for spring. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Old linemen. Uh, every, pretty much everyone in that locker room. As a quarterback, everyone in that locker room look like they see you. You know, they're supposed to doubt around you. See, you know, if you're a leader. You know, so you really have to get to know the whole team. It's not just this, this, and that. You gotta get to know everybody, you know. That old line was one of the best in the country last year, and almost all of them are coming back. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. How's that oh, yeah. make a new quarterback feel? <laughs> oh, yeah, it makes me feel good. Big blue wall. So, you know, I'm looking forward to just playing around these group of guys. It's gonna be fun the next couple of years. Kind of going back. If nothing does work out and you're unable to play this upcoming fall. Have you sort of thought about how tough that could be for you to know that you can practice with the guys but not really take the football field full force on game night? Has that crossed your mind at all? And how do you uh, sort of just plan to handle that? Um, it definitely has. Um, but at the same time, you know, my main goal is just to go in there, be more like, be more of a leader, just show my face. So even if I don't get to play in the fall, it still gives me a whole season, you know, just getting on my teammates because I really stress that enough really get to know them guys and just be put myself as a leader and then just understand the offense a little more and you know, so it's, it's downfall but at the same time there's positives to it yeah coach Shaw, how do, how do you do you look forward to being able to work with him you know as a player coach what do you think that relationship is going to be like oh um, yeah I'm look I'm really looking forward to playing for coach uh Henshaw. he's a great guy great dude and I believe what he does on the field and what he brings to the game is is really good. There's obviously a lot of buzz around Lexington with the guys that have come in, come on to this bus over the last year. When you sort of from the outside looking in when you first came here and saw that everything was just sort of building and falling into place and now that it sort of is, what can you see the potential for this program being, seeing the guys that have come into this locker room to join you? Um, this, this program is it's going to be one of the top programs in the nations, I really do believe, these next coming years. And just, even the foundation they're building up to, they've been building years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, I really feel like they're on a roll, and it's just the ball getting bigger and bigger. And, you know, it's not, I, don't feel like, I don't feel like it's going to stop.